Hey guys, welcome back to another video of African history and culture. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at the Ewe people. Nestled in the West African region, the Ewe people have a rich cultural tapestry that spans centuries. Our journey begins in the lush landscapes of Ghana, Togo and Benin where the Ewe people call home. Known for their vibrant traditions, intricate rituals, and lively festivals, the Ewe tribe has become a symbol of cultural resilience and unity. The Ewe people are the largest ethnic group in Togo, and they tend to dominate the country, economically speaking. The Ewe people comprise of a number of clans or subgroups, such as the Anlo of Ghana and Togo, the Uwachi, Mina, the Aja and others. The Ewe are closely related to the Fon people of Benin, but they tend to be distinguished by their historical resistance to the kingdom of Danhome. The early history of the Ewe people is not really well known, unfortunately. According to oral tradition, the Ewe people began a gradual westward migration from Oyo in the Yoruba region of modern-day Nigeria in the 13th century. Despite this, Archaeological evidence suggests that the Ewe had a longer and more continuous presence in the Ewe heartland of southern Togo. However, both of these may be true, as Ewe oral history may reflect the diversity within Ewe identity. With the existence of numerous clans or subgroups, one theory suggests that this oral tradition may have arisen during the 18th century, when oil came to overpower Danhome and their neighbors in Togo. Ewe is a member of the Atlantic Congo branch of the Niger Congo language family, spoken in Southeast Ghana and Togo. It has several alternative names. It is part of the Gbe group of languages that also includes Fon, spoken in Benin and southwestern Nigeria, Jen, spoken in Togo and Benin, and 13 varieties of Gbe spoken in Benin. Listen to the Ewe language. <laughs> Oyole Nigeria Nigbaji Have a fu asara any le a gososome le togo Pue any hekle gana pe reje pe gome Le togbi any pe poplotela Wova no ketu Emegbela, o vucho afima he yi da je alu. Si o le azame. Kope swe ade si le mononu lagbo. Prepare to be dazzled as we explore the vibrant festivals that define the Ewe calendar. From the electrifying rhythms of the Agbame Vo dance, during the Hegbe Soso festival to the sacred rituals of the Akwanto Tenten festival. The Ewe people know how to celebrate with passion and reverence. The festival is traditionally observed on the first Saturday in November, featuring various ceremonies. These ceremonies encompass a peacemaking period, during which all disputes are resolved through amicable solution. It is believed that the reason for this traditional period of peacemaking is that the people believe their ancestors lived in harmony with themselves all through their escape from Nazi and that it was this character that made their sojourn a success. There is also a purification ceremony, the ceremonial stools, where the Ewe believe the ancestral spirits reside through the pouring of libations. This is followed by general cleaning, where all the villages are swept and rubbish burnt. This cleaning ceremony starts at the Volta River and ends after several days at the Mono River in the Republic of Togo. The climax of the festival involves a doba of the chiefs and people of Anlo. The chiefs dress in colorful regalia, kente, and receive homage from their subjects at the Durba grounds. Various forms of dancing, singing, and merrymaking characterize the entire festival. The Ewe people are skilled artisans, weaving intricate patterns into their fabric of life. Whether it's the famous kente cloth, the mesmerizing Ewe pottery, 
or the symbolic Adinkara symbols. Their artistry is a testament to creativity and cultural significance. Ewe religion is organized around a creator god, Mawu, called Nana Buluku by the Fawn of Benin, and numerous lesser gods. The worship of the latter pervades daily life. For their assistance is sought in subsistence activities, commerce and war. Belief in the supernatural powers of ancestral spirits to aid or harm their descendants enforces patterns of social behavior and feelings of solidarity among lineage members. In modern times, many Ewe have become Christians. Most Ewe are farmers, corn, maize and yams being their staple foods. Sea fishing is a full-time occupation in some coastal areas. These are the delectable dishes that define Ewe gastronomy, from the iconic akle and petri dechi to the savory abolo and umpotompoto. As our journey through the Ewe tribe comes to a close, we've only scratched the surface of this fascinating culture. The Ewe people with their resilience, creativity, and deep-rooted traditions stand as guardians of a heritage that continues to captivate and inspire. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the Ewe tribe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below, sharing your thoughts or any other cultures you'd like us to explore in future videos. Until next time, cheers and have a good one.